Hey everybody, and welcome to another of our Pro Acoustics Tech Talks. I'm Nathan. I'm Colton. And we are back here in our Salado location to talk to you guys all about conference room microphone systems. Yeah. What they are, how they work, some of their features, and then a couple of our favorite flavor he flavors here that mm -hmm. we can kind of show you what you can do uh, for your audio needs. Mm -hmm. And on with the show. All right, Nathan. So we're back in action. It's been a little, little bit of time. Uh, time has passed, and uh, we are going to be unloading some great content within the next uh, few weeks. So uh, we wanted to kick it off today with uh, getting back into conference room sound systems, and more specifically, uh, just c communication in a conference room in general. Uh, there's basically two ways to splice it. You know, you have um, a little bit more, but you have, um, you know, wired options. You have wireless, you have uh, boundary mics, you have goosenecks. So we want to kind of break this down for you and explain precisely, you know, what's going to benefit you and kind of hopefully make that road a little bit clearer as you're trying to pick what's going to work for you best. So um, anyways, we have Anchor Audio right in front of us here. So um, kind of go, go over, you know, the councilman systems and of course uh, the other options in the market. Um, and kind of break that down for me so we can understand it a little bit better. Yeah, you bet. So basically what we have here are some conference room system packages. Mm -hmm. And what we're actually specifically talking about is in this scenario here is conferencing microphones perfect for discussion rooms, delegate rooms, uh, you know, like board rooms, council chambers, like you might see in educational environments for school districts or local governments, that kind of thing. So the idea is, you know, typically you have some form of gooseneck microphone yep. with a base station, typically one per person. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a number of different options where we actually have a speaker built into the base station. Okay. Uh, neither of these two systems have those, but we do have those options available where not only does each uh, member of the board or the dais or the chamber have a base station with a gooseneck microphone, sometimes they also have a speaker built in. Uh, that enables them to hear everyone else speaking in the in the hall to make yeah. sure that uh, you know everybody can hear what's going on. That the person at the end of the table still knows what the chair said, yeah. Um, yeah. and that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, from there, uh, those types of systems or these wired or wireless packages can mm -hmm. also then be combined with external recorders, extor external uh, audio systems to reinforce the rest of the audience, the rest mm -hmm. of the participants, mm -hmm. and then also things like. Uh, wired or wireless microphones for question and answer sessions, gotcha. things like that. Yeah, yeah. We've all turned on public access TV and seen the, uh, the city hall, uh, you know, or the mm -hmm. uh, board of education on one side of the room and everybody else watching. Yep. This is kind of the same basic idea. Um, we once again do have wired and wireless options. Um, categorically, wireless can be pretty expensive. I will mention that. Yeah. Um, you know, it, and what you have to take into consideration is that not only do you have a wireless, um, res, you know, transmitter built into the base of uh, the system, but you also have the microphone itself. Mm -hmm. And typically, from there, you're going to need a mixer. Yep. That brings us to this Voco Pro option that we have here. Okay. This is actually the pieces of the uh, Digital Conference 12, which is a 12-channel UHF wireless system. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, the 12 comes with 12 of the base stations and then uh, 12 gooseneck mics, which all have their own uh, power mute button right there on the base, its own antenna, so it can transmit back to the receiver, and then three four-channel receivers. So on these receivers, you're going to see on the back you actually have four XLR outputs and then a mixed output. That means that to adequately mix this system, you actually need 12 XLR inputs or at least three um, unbalanced quarter inch gotcha. inputs yeah, to, tie the, to tie yeah. into the mixer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this isn't a standalone system. It's not out the door all ready to go. It mm -hmm. has to be paired with something. Mm -hmm. uh, and then from there, you have volume dials on the front if you are using that mixed output on the back. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, very cost effective in that uh, with the 12 and the 16 channel yep. systems you can get at time of recording below $1,500 or so. Yeah, so very cost really effective yeah. uh, and also nice because this broadcasts in the 900 megahertz band. Uh, there's been a lot of 
um, noise on TV about the FCC and 600 megahertz and all that. Yeah. Right now, 900 megahertz is a safe place to be, so uh, that's where the Voco Pro products uh, lie at the moment. Good advantage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, optional rack mount kit, uh, yeah. and then once again, we can pair this system uh, as needed with wireless handhelds okay. uh, for Q&A or pair mm -hmm. that with a mixer or with a recorder. Once again, recorders are big uh, because um, there's a lot of laws and a lot of muni municipalities that require mm -hmm. their local governments actually record the audio content of their meetings so that it can be referenced afterwards. Stay legal, folks. <laughs> so that then brings us to something that's a little bit more uh, all-encompassing, all-inclusive, a total package, which is the Anchor Councilman system, uh, the yep. CM-6 or the CM-6W. Mm -hmm. I always forget where the dash goes, but I think that's right. Uh, the councilman system is a little bit more all-in-one in that it comes with its own speaker. So uh, the speaker is actually the heart of the system itself. Um, it, it's a, a you know one anchor's po small powered speakers, which they have a number of those, but this one's unique in it first of all has a built-in microphone receiver on the back for actually having a wireless handheld broadcast to it. Um, if you need, there also can be options for doing a lapel um, and things oh, like cool. that that we can review. You just yeah. get with us yeah. on that and we'll go over it. And then it also has um, wire XLR outputs to feed to the multiple delegate stations. Okay. Now, gotcha. uh, the CM6 uh, does come with uh, six of those microphones right off the bat, but it can be expanded to lots of additional ones. Okay. Um, I want to say you can do up to 16 microphones, and that wow. just has to do with uh, phantom power limitations, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, but we can expand it as needed and make changes. There also is a, um, uh, beyond the uh, talk button you see there and the volume button mm -hmm. or the volume knob, you also do have a chair position that also has a mute. Uh, that's kind of the quiet everybody kind of deal where if things get a little bit out of hand at the meeting, exactly. The mayor, the uh, the head executive of the board can push mm -hmm. that button to silence yep. everybody else's microphones uh, so he or she can rein it all in. Gain control. Yeah. Uh, you do have a speaker here that um, is rated for up to around 100 people or so. It depends okay. on how rowdy and raucous it's going to be. But you can output from this system to feed uh, speakers in the ceiling, powered speakers on the walls, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, and then once again, you do have the option for an output uh, that we can then tie to an external recorder so gotcha. that you can feed out to uh, some additional, you know, feed out to uh, your local Facebook feed or yep. wherever they need mm -hmm. to do with, uh, with those files. So a lot of cool options here. Um, as far as cost-effective conferencing, mm -hmm. once again, we can pair these with recorders, we can pair these with additional microphones, we can expand these as we need for you mm -hmm. guys. Uh, just uh, pick up the phone or shoot us an email yeah. and let us know how we can help. Yeah, we're here. Um, check out our website, www.proacousticsusa.com. Mm -hmm. um, I can be reached via email at Nathan mm -hmm. at proacoustics.com. And I am Colton with an I at proacoustics.com. And then our uh, 800 number is 888-256-4112. Mm -hmm. uh, and just ask for sales or any of us and we'll be happy to help out. If you do like what you see here, once again, be sure and go down below and uh, like us, follow yeah. us, check out all our other videos. If you Involved. have something, yeah, exactly. If you have mm -hmm. something you'd like to see us talk about, uh, drop us a line down below. Mm -hmm. We'll be happy to try and accommodate however we can. And um, until next time, I'm Nathan. I'm Colton. Let us know how we can help, guys. Take care. We'll see you.